in mathematics, we often want to discover certain numbers in certain series when we study all the polygons. And I might do some research and say, what is the fourth pentagonal number? And we know that we have triangle numbers, squared numbers, pentagon numbers, hexagon numbers. So really, this is a, 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 a an investigation into the power of formula. The plural of formula is formulae. So we have one universal formula that can tell us, say, what the tenth triangle number is, what the seventh hexagonal number is. So I'll just read it out. So it's called poly TN. So T is going to be, say, for the pentagon. If we if we're actually we want to discover um, what the fourth pentagon number is. So it's one, two, three. Four. So ultimately, we want to get 22. So in this thing, because there's five sides, the polygon, the T equals five. But because we want to know the one, two, three, the fourth number, that's the N bit here. So we're going to say T equals five, but the N equals four. So for any universal um, number, we're going to say poly T N means what shape is it and what is it the 10th number or the 12th and so this is the formula which came from um, this chart here submitted by some readers here you can see this whole chart there's a universal formula looks complicated we've got triangle numbers square um, the squared numbers here's the pentagon and there's even hexa hexagonal numbers and septagonal and octagonal so this is a universal chart that goes to infinity and this formula is so special because any number we want in the universe, we plug it into this formula. Just by knowing the shape is five, we want this five shape and we want one, two, three, four. So I'll just read it out. It's a bit complicated. It says n squared times t minus two minus n times t minus four. And we take the midpoint called divide by two. So first of all, to, to appreciate the pentagon series, because this is infinite, we know squared numbers here. Um, we all know 1, 4, 9, 16. But just observe that when we do 2 squared, we add these three there around the first one. And then to do 9, we go, we add this L shape of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 around the original square there. And then here we've got, here's our three by three. Here's our three by three. But do you notice that to, on top of the three by three, we add in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as we add one plus three plus five plus seven, the sequence of odd numbers, we're, we're building up our sequence of squared numbers. And you can see, if you look closely, um, that's like an L shape. So the name of this L shape here is called the nomon. It's the original meaning of nomon is the carpenter square. And by adding this L shape of numbers to the squares, we've got bigger and bigger squares. So this is one of the pure principles of mathematics. It's the carpenter square. And literally it means the shape that allow, creates the shadow in the sundial. So if you look at a, a sundial, when the sun hits that, it creates a shadow. So, so this was the nomon or the sundial form but it's actually the carpenter square and we're going to apply this principle of the carpenter square the nomon which also means gnosis which means to know there's a whole cult called the gnostics it's all about knowing the inner self so it's got somehow to do with this 90 degree angle okay so we're going we're going to we want to determine what's the fourth one two three fourth pentagon number so we know here's one and this is the fifth one here, one, two, three, four, five. There's five there, so we've got one here, we've got five there. The third pentagon number is we add a, another ring of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven around the, the previous one, and we get 12. And here we're adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten around what we just drew here. We add another layer or ring around this to get 22 which is what we're going to get here. So our, our research for today, our formula is going to give us the number 22, but we can go bigger and bigger just by adding this carpenter square. So if we add another ring to this, by adding another ring to that, we'll get 35 and it keeps growing and growing forever. 
So that's the graphic. We love pictures because pictures, are high, this high visual content makes maths easy. But sometimes we, we can't draw the 20th pentagonal number. It's going to be too big to draw. So just by having this equation, it's solved. It's completely solved. So let's, um, so don't get scared by the mathematics. Just see it as a gift that it's like a code. It's high intelligence. We love mathematical formulae. So I'm going to plug in into this equation, n squared t minus 2. I'm going to write it out here. I'll do it in yellow. So n squared, n is 5. So I've got, so my formula is poly t, n is poly 5. And it's the fourth number of the pentagon equals. So n, we know that n is 4. So whenever we see an n, we substitute 4. So that's 4 squared. The t minus 2, t is also, t is 5 because that's the pentagon. So we say 5, mi 5 minus the 2. Then we say subtract n is 4 minus n. And what's in here? We've got t minus 4. We know that t is 5. So it's just the 5, take away the 4. So, and then we have to divide all of that information. All of this information here has to be divided by 2. So we put another, see how I put square brackets compared to the curve brackets? Because that was, because when I divide by 2, I'm dividing all of this by 2. If I didn't have these brackets and divided by 2, I'd get a wrong answer because I'm dividing only this bit by 2. But this square bracket tells me intelligently and carefully to divide all of that data by 2. And that's where a lot of people make mistakes in mathematics. So now we just simplify that equation. So 4 squared is 16. So here's my bracket. So it's 16. 5 minus 2 here is 3. So it's 16. And I haven't, even though I don't have any times here, that 16 brackets 3 does mean 16 times 3, which is 48. So there's our 48 over here. So, and then we clean this up. So 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 times minus 4 is still minus 4. So look at that. We simplified that whole row to that. And then we, and we have to divide all of that by 2. So we're almost there. So 16 times the 3 is 48. We've got the 48 here. And it's just 48 take away the 4, which is 44. We divide all that by 2. So what's... So we've got right down to the end now and say, what is half of 44? And we can see that it's 22. And I know that took a bit of time to calculate and to work it out, but I just wanted you to appreciate the elegance and power of mathematics of formulae, because we're only at the beginning here. What if we wanted to calculate like the hundredth pentagonal number? You would have to draw a giant pentagon nesting within itself many, many times, and you'd probably get it wrong anyway so and you'd have to count for an hour so this way just by one universal formula we can know not just pentagon numbers we could know squared numbers triangle any shape so um i didn't want to scare you with this mathematics i just wanted to show you that it's a universal language it has its place this is what has allowed us to create a high technology by understanding formulae based on pure simple polygon so um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll do some more soon.